Vincent Lopez is rapidly becoming a legendary figure in the movement to allow those who need it to have legal access to cannabis. As your program notes, Vincent has dealt with muscular dystrophy for most of his life. Cannabis has not cured him, but regular use has made his life better, as he will tell you. Last year, he founded the Patient Alliance for Cannabis Therapeutics to provide a, a safe place for medical cannabis patients to share their experiences. Vincent is a writer, a publisher, a tireless advocate, and to many, a true hero. He has testified before legislative committees, freely acknowledging the role cannabis plays in his life. I don't think any of the lawmakers on those committees have called for his arrest or demanded that he stop using the drug that helps him deal with a tough situation and lead a productive life. I recommend they extend that generosity to others by writing it into law. Please welcome Vincent Lopez. You guys have to give me a little moment here, letting the computer start up. But uh, I want to start out by saying thank you to the Baker Institute for having me out tonight. And uh, it is definitely uh, an honor to be here today. Excuse me a little bit. Thank you. Right. Okay. Excuse me, I got a little technical thing here. Double click on that file. Okay. Well, once again, thank you guys for having me here tonight. It's been my pleasure to be here. Um, the question comes down to, is, uh, is Texas ready for medical marijuana? As Texans, I believe we've been ready for quite some time. Uh, we would have passed years ago, but with no app or open ballot initiative, we are bound to a different set of legislative processes. But we know who we need to educate, who we need to be talking to, and the conversation that needs to be happening. We know the voice of patients, and uh, we shall be silent no more. It's hard not to turn away from the fact that one day, my own physical mobility will cease to exist, and that I will not be able to self-medicate. This, in turn, would fall onto my caregiver, which happens to be my mother. Therefore, she needs to have pr protection, and I fight to see that she has it. It's never good living in fear, for fear is a sickness that can keep us from facing reality, that can inhibit us from looking beyond ourselves, that can blind us of our own true courage. And stepping out of the cannabis closet, I had always been familiar with the feelings of fear and intimidation, but nothing compared to the weight I was carrying by not coming out, by not saying anything, by living life in secret. No longer could I live in silence knowing I had an answer in cannabis for the painful muscle spasms, the stiffness and contortion I endure, the loss of appetite and sleep. If there's an answer in cannabis, then I shall not stay silent. This is my body and how I choose to alleviate the pains of my body is solely up to me. When it comes to the rights of medical cannabis patients in the state of Texas, it is imperative that we do not make the previous mis mis mistakes made by other states. It is imperative that we secure our right and freedom of choice to medicate as we choose with what we choose. Too many rely, what our, rely on what our own physicians tell us over that of our own minds and perception. But let's remember there is no better moderator of our bodies than ourselves. We need to stay focused to the sole objective that not, that not only fuels our purpose, but also fuels the trial and truth that we all embody. War is a malignant disease, an idiocy, a prison, and the pain it causes is beyond telling or meaning. In being a patient of Becker muscular dystrophy, a deteriorating muscle disease, 
I know firsthand about the consumption of disease and disability and the long-term detrimental effects it can have on the mind and on the spirit. It's a battle within itself contending with a terminal disease, a dragon that will never leave your side, that will always be a part of you. This kind of trial can be a whisper in the ear, reminding you of your difficulty and all that you should fear, that your only purpose in life is to simply wait to die. If you can relate, then you know of the darkness of the dragon that lurks within. And though these dragons may consume our bodies, you also know of the bravery and courage embedded in us to keep fighting back harder than ever before. I simply say that there is no man or no law greater than the eternal confrontation of what we're having to endure. What, it, what can any man or law do to me that this affliction hasn't done to me already? And while for some there's a cure, there are others where there is no turning back, where there are no irreversible changes to be had. Let's understand that cannabis is not a cure for my condition, but an alleviator of my own choice. There's not much more I can do to stop the continual progression of this disease. My muscles will continue to deteriorate, my mobility will continue to suffer, and my pain will continue to increase. It's in accepting this fact where I am awakened and inspired to the bigger picture and responsibility that extends beyond my own life and onto future generations to come. When I first got involved, I was only seeking the legality of a medicine that had become significantly, significantly beneficial for me in regard to the symptoms of Becker muscular dystrophy. Unaware I was of what more my eyes and heart would see not just within myself, but within many others. Let it be known that the canons of truth are upon you when a child is suffering with disease and or disability in seeing the system that is waiting for them, in seeing the amount of distress the bureaucratic process can bring onto an already difficult, painful, and desperate situa situation. The canons of truth are upon you when families are jumping onto the Texas exodus to Colorado, having no other alternative due to the illegality of medical cannabis here in Texas. The canons of truth are upon you when a child is incapable of even having a voice or the ability of full-on expression. The canons of truth are upon you when the medicinal properties of cannabis can bring a child out of that darkness, out of that epileptic, catatonic state. There is no greater inspiration than looking into the eyes of a child. It invokes an irreplaceable feeling that truly reminds us all of the sacrifice we must all make for them. I gladly give my life four times over to be the voice for them. No real, le no real legalization can exist unless it protects the rights of all. Therefore, we need to keep with the knowledge that each word of what we express has its own power, time, and place. We must have an awareness of our own strengths and weaknesses, an understanding of the process of legislation, and we must always seek a higher aim than just momentary satisfaction. Keep in mind that our actions of today greatly affect the outcomes of tomorrow. We cannot ascend beyond the entrapment and binding clutches of isolation, desolation, and fear if we allow the re repercussions they inflict on us. It's about facing that dragon eye to eye and conquering the ultimate chess game from within. Not about turning away out of fear or denial. It's about becoming something you thought you never could be and taking to heart that which doesn't kill us only makes us stronger. It's how we wield our inner strength that enables us to confront our demons so courageously and without fear. Let me say, if Jesus were here today, he wouldn't sway and neither should we. Go to the ones who have been separated from their families due to this ridiculous drug war. Go to the ones who have been forgotten, neglected, abused, and misunderstood. Go to the ones tormented, lost, and left behind. Go to the ones consciously unaware of their true potential and the knowledge of nature's medicinal truth. How much longer shall we suffer these injustices, the death of our liberties, the wretchedness and consumption of disease, how much longer shall we allow these mighty mountains of desperation to exist and suffer the depravities of our own mental silence? 
We win this journey by being that book of knowledge, by being that magician, and by being that machine. And really, by simply making ourselves immortal. Thank you.